Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of my Harry Potter office. I will also include a full walkthrough of the entire house decorated for Halloween with all the lights off, so make sure to stay tuned. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's get started. So I guess we will start with the banners on the wall. Of course, I have four of them. That one's for Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, and Hufflepuff, and yes, that is construction paper. I wanted to get actual banners from Amazon, but the really pretty ones were so expensive and I just didn't want it to look super cheap. So I wanted to just wait until I could afford a really nice one. So in the meantime, these are just like placeholders, but they don't look too bad, especially from afar. Um, you can't really tell. And then I'll just quickly show you the desk. I just have this little gauzy creepy cloth covering the screens. And then on either side, I have some coasters. I recently hauled these for you guys. I'll link that video down below. And the coasters match the posters on the wall. So since that side has Gryffindor and Hufflepuff, the coasters for Gryffindor and Hufflepuff are on this side. And same thing for that side. And then we have this little wine glass that I recently hauled as well. And then right in the center, we have my Hogwarts mug, which is also new this year. I did try to keep the desk as clean and empty as possible so that I could actually use it. So that is why there's not too much decoration going on over here. Then, when we turn around, all you see is decoration. <laughs> I guess we'll start with this side. This side is mainly my side. It has all of my storybooks and everything. And so I kind of made the books part of the decor. I have my Harry Potter books here and this little villain's book. Um, the candle keeps falling, so it's supposed to be standing up like that, but you'll see it during um, the complete walkthrough with the lights off and everything. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. But I basically just scattered some pumpkins. This is some incense and some of these little candles. And these candles do light up. You just have to twist them to have them light up. And then I have these extra little keys and little maple leaves. And I just scattered around. And then above that, I have this little necklace. This is an amethyst, just hanging on the side. And I have my little pumpkin. And I have this little glass dome, which I have been wanting to create, like a Beauty and the Beast rose, for the longest time. I'll get to it eventually. But right next to it is this potion bottle that I made. It's the magical trick-or-treat potion. And I made a lot of potion bottles, as you'll see. I just got a little carried away and had too much fun with it. And of course I have this little bar cart here with Professor Dumbledore, Harry, Hermione, and Ron. And I have a little love potion there between them. And this bar cart just reminded me of the trolley. Anything off the trolley, dears. <laughs> and right next to it, I made some flu powder. And then this guy right here, I made as well. He's a little mandrake. Here is my little Ron with his sorting hat. I recently hauled him and I was so excited that I finally found him after so many years. And this, I have no idea what it is. My husband got it for me off of Amazon. Uh, I believe it's from Lord of the Rings, but it looked magical. So I added it to the decor. And there is my little Harry Potter cauldron. It's actually a soup bowl, which I actually use every year. <laughs> and it's inside of the cake stand. And I have another potion bottle. And then on this wall, we have some posters and I just have them pinned up with the clear thumbtacks and they're kind of in a zigzag pattern so that it looks like they're kind of flying up or falling down. And that's me right there. <laughs> and I have the same thing on that side as well, which I'll show you in just a second. But when we go down here, I have my new books, which I recently hauled. One of them is missing because it's uh, at my bedside table. If you saw that video, then you know. Again, I'll link that video for you guys. And then I have more potion bottles. I literally made all of these. 
in I think three days, not even. It was just too much fun. So we have Witch's Brew, we have, this is Ashes of Vampire. And of course I have to make it glittery because Edward Cullen. <laughs> and then Arsenic. And all of these have my stamp, my individual stamp. Wax seal, I should say. And there's Hoot of Owl, Porcupine Quill, Mermaid Tears, and Polyjuice Potion. And these potions are super cool. I'm kind of messing up the um, spider web thing going on here. But let me show you what this. Liquid Luck, if you know, and you know. So it looks like a regular potion, but when you give it a shake, oh yeah, <laughs> it still amazes me. Oh my gosh, I love it. So um, the same thing happens when you shake the Polyjuice potion as well, as well as the pumpkin juices, which I'll show you in just a sec. But I have some cobweb stew, which is basically just pillow fluff. And gillyweed. And then I filled in any empty spots with maple leaves. And then here I have my chocolate frog, which I got from Harry Potter New York. And then here are the pumpkin juices. And yes, I made all of these. And if you shake them up, they do have like a purpley iridescent shimmer but these take a long time to shake up. I don't know why, but it turns into that like iridescent color, which is really cool. <laughs> and then in the back, I just put my Medusa crown. I did a makeup tutorial on Medusa last year, so uh, make sure to check that out as well if you're looking for a Halloween costume. And then here we have more potion bottles. We have Mickey, the wizard, hiding back there. And I mainly just kept him there because I had Hedwig hiding back there. So I wanted two stuffies, one on either side. And here we have my new books that I hauled recently as well. Um, the third one is currently at my bedside table as well. So uh, I clearly can only read three books at a time. Not one, not two, but I have to read three for some reason. <laughs> I guess my attention span is just... Too small. But here we have more potion bottles. Snake venom. What is this one? Beetlejuice. Zombie brew. <laughs> Black cat's hiss. 100% pure bone. Bat tequila. And then we have drought of living death. Oh, this one's a cool one too. Let me see if I can shake this up for you guys. So cool! And then we have Eye of Newt and Night Owl Elixir. And this one was super fun to make. It looks really pretty, especially in the light. And then here I have this tag from something that I bought this year from Home Goods. I can't even remember. But it says Broomstick Boulevard. And it even says handcrafted in India. I didn't even realize that. But I love the little sign. So I decided to just keep it there. Make it look extra authentic, you know? So that is what the center table looks like. And so here, again, we have those posters. And these are all free printouts that I just found on Google. I printed all these out on white paper and then I dyed them with some black tea. And I kind of burned the edges a little bit just to give them a little bit more of an extra Halloween look. <laughs> But yes, that is my husband. So I have a picture of my husband and a picture of me. And then on this side, we have my little Funko Pops. Um, last year for Christmas, I had an advent calendar with all of these Funko Pops. And each day I unraveled a new Funko Pop and it was so much fun. I have all that on TikTok if you want to follow me on there and see it. It was so much fun. I hope they come up with something new this year. I'll keep a lookout for that, but that was really fun. But this bro, literally, they all fall down. I don't know what it is with this bro. I tried to stick them down, as you can see with some like silly putty stuff, 
but that is the only row that refuses to sit up. It makes sense because those are the Weasley twins and Draco. But Ginny, I am surprised at you, Ginny. We have two pumpkins on either side. And I love those pumpkins. I call them my Cinderella pumpkins. They just remind me of a fairy tale. And then on this side, we have some bloodroot and then dragon scales. And then I placed Harry Potter right at the edge. He's actually my Christmas ornament. And then off of him, I'm hanging this turquoise necklace. Just like the other side, how I have the amethyst, I just wanted something on this side as well. And then right below, we have this shelf, and I have some candles in the back, and these little bottles with pearls. And it's just elevated on my little wax seal kit. And these are my little werewolf babies. And then right next door, we have more candles in the back, and this little potion bottle, I guess, with some scrolls. And I just put it inside of this little dome. And then we have my wax seal, which I used on all of my potion bottles. Just really like the look of it. it, looks so pretty. And then this, this was my attempt at making the golden snitch. I open at the close. But it is very difficult when you don't have uh, a very like fine brush to write things. And I didn't have anything to create the wings with, so this has to do. Now when we go back to the center and look straight up, we have the Hogwarts emblem right there, and it just fit perfectly in that little like wainscoting that I have. And then I made this Hogwarts letter banner, I guess it's called. Is that the word? I'm not even sure. But it kind of looks like they are flying and fighting their way out of the window and flying outwards, like so. And it's just so magical looking. I love it. Originally, it was just supposed to go on the edge of the entire room. But as we were hanging it, I saw it hang like this. And I just, I don't know, I really like the look of it. So there's that. And when you look straight up, we have the flying keys and the floating candles. I have been dying to do this ever since I recreated it in, uh, I think it was 2020 or 2019 Halloween. But oh my gosh, it looks so cool. And I actually invested in remote control candles this time. So that should be nice. Clearly, I am very easily amused. These floating candles were the perfect final touch for this room. The candles, as well as the flying keys, just added that extra magical touch which I was looking for. And I'm so glad I decided to do this. I was about to not do this, uh, mainly because it is uh, kind of tedious to do um, the candlesticks, to hot glue each one and get them ready and then hang them up on the ceiling. But I am so glad. I did this. And this little remote was like my own personal wand. I felt like Dumbledore with his Deluminator. I'm going to have to prepare you for the upcoming clip because I actually did squeal. This is my genuine reaction. I can do this all day. Oh my gosh. Spectral Patron. And I almost forgot to show you, I do have a fairy light hidden right in the back there. I only had one fairy light left, but I had to make do. So I just kind of draped it all along. It's a pretty long fairy light, <laughs> but at night it adds just enough of magic. And when I light these candles up, as well as these candles, it's going to look amazing! This fairy light I actually got from Amazon and you can change it to any of these colors. So depending on if I'm feeling 
Gryffindor, which is red. Um, I can change it to red. I can change it to Ravenclaw, which is blue. And then there's also Hufflepuff. And of course, Slytherin. There are different shades of each color as well. And I just love this. If you're planning on decorating for any holiday, I would highly suggest investing in some of these color-changing fairy lights. So here is a little overview of the entire room. And I know you can see the little fishing wire, um, but in person, it looks like it's actually floating. And especially at nighttime, Oh my gosh, it looks like something straight out of the movie. Alrighty, my loves, so that was it for this Harry Potter office tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!